Okay, what's up, YouTube world? This your boy, Ron, and today I'm going to show you how you can get back uh, your recycle bin icon. And matter of fact, any icon that you accidentally delete, you can get back with this method. This is the simplest, easiest method um, that you can do. Um, a while ago, I accidentally erased my recycle bin icon, right? So I went to Nugent, and, you know, on the star key, they tell you to click the search and all that BS, and you see a thousand folders, skip all that. I'm going to show you how to do it real simple, one, two, three. And all you have to do is have a USB, just like that one, or any USB. And so you go to somebody's computer, your brother, your cousin, whatever, whoever got a computer with a recycle bin icon. In this case, I went to my son's computer. I put the USB in, just like that. And I opened it up to my, my computer. You can see it right there. There's his USB showing up right there. I double-clicked on it, right? He has a bunch of stuff in here, but it don't matter. I, then I went over to the recycle bin icon, the picture. And all I did was simply drag it over right in there, and I dropped it. It pops up right there. You all can see that? It popped up right there. So now I have it in the USB. Right after that, I exit it out, and then I head over to, let me just get this out of here real quick. Y'all got to bear with me because I'm leaving another computer. Okay, so then I took my USB out. See there? I took it out from the computer. I went over to my computer just like this. Part of the house is kind of messy, but whatever. I went over to my computer, and... I took the USB and put it in my computer like this. Okay. I put it in my computer. I go to my computer again, just like I did over there, and the USB pops up right here. Okay. Double click it, and there's the icon, the recycle bin icon that I took off of my son's computer. All right. I then minimize the window, just like that. I minimize it. I find the icon for the recycle bin, just like that. And all I did was dragged it, drag it right here, and drop. It says, would you like to, it says the folder cont already contains the name recycle bin, which because I replaced it, you just click yes in that case, and boom, there it is. That's how I did that. Now, to see if that works, to see if this recycle bin is actually for real, I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to delete something, okay? I'll go to, since I'm into music, I'll, I'll grab some out of this asset. And um, I'm going to delete uh, some random name, anything. I'll delete this right here, Okay. I'm going to delete this. This is a music thing. And it says right there, are you sure you want, it's kind of blurry, are you sure you want to send this to the recycle bin? I say yes. Then I exit out of this part. Here I am back at the recycle bin. I'm going to double click it and look at there. What I deleted from the asset actually is in the recycle bin. That show you that it works. And all I did was simply copy, paste, or actually I didn't even copy and paste it. Actually, all I did was took my USB over to my son's computer, drag that icon into that USB, take the USB out, come over to my computer, put it in my computer, open up the USB. I dragged the icon onto my desktop. You see it right there with your own eyes. The icon, the recycle bin icon is back. And it works because I put something in there, deleted, and it says right there in the recycle bin, Empty recycle bin, I'm going to say yes, and it says, are you sure? And I'm going to say yes, and look, boom, it's gone. So, for all you who was frustrated with all the bull crap, uh, new jits and all that crap, tell them Ryan gave you a more simple method, and they can kiss your ass on all that other bull crap. All right, I'm out.